Thanks. Thanks. I'll be out in a sec. Just, just keep shooting. Hopefully it's the right thing to do. My, my, my leg. I just Hold need on, I got you. Rest a sec. Uh, keep him off us, No, Clem. no, it's too much. Too Shut much. Up. Shut the fuck up. Go back. I got you. Why would you go over there? He specifically said, "Don't do that," and you did it. Well, that's really bad. They're not going to be able to find the surface. Oh, somebody's banging right there. Luke! Um. It's too late. Clementine, stop! There's nothing more you can do. Clementine! No, oh, man. I liked Luke. Well, that's another bummer and a half, man. They kiss kick you when you're when you're feeling good, when you're feeling bad, whatever. Told you every time I like a character, Jane better look out. She's pretty much the last one left that I like, so... I mean, I kind of like Kenny. He has his How moments, but... How the fuck but... did that happen? Jesus Christ. I'll look for something to start a fire. What are you, Luke? They're just fucking gone. Jesus. We should have gone around. God damn it. We should have just fucking gone around. It's my fault. I should have stayed with him. Once that I started to go, there wasn't nothing any of us could do. You son of a bitch! This is your fucking fault! Kenny! No, man! To what? It's nobody's damn fault! It wasn't Arvo's fault! Luke was shot. And who got him shot? No, it's, it's not Arvo's fault. Come on, Kenny. Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks. Bet those magical supplies are bullshit too. What? No speaking of English? <laughs> Fuck you. There you, you go. Fucking commie piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, 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 you cutter. <laughs> Can you stop it right now? It's been a bad enough day, man. What? Lose your taste for this sort of thing? Really, Kenny? Really? What did you do to him? There's another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is going to help How is beating a kid to death going to help anyone? <laughs> Kenny is a liability. Him up. Fine. Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? He's hurt real bad. Mike. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, probably get to do more medical no, I... treatments. I thought I had matches. Aha! You kept it. Wow. That went up real quick. It is one thing after another, man. Be the worst life ever. Pretty, pretty glad this is, could never happen. <laughs> I 
I like Arvo. Kenny's really good at lay off of him. Let me take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. What the fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Are you just eating beans over me or something? Kenny's out back trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? Thank you. Aw, we're making friends. I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this, this shitty in a while. He was a great guy. God damn it. I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. Well, I'm glad you did. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth a crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little luck, we can get one fixed up. Be out of here by nightfall. Just give me a minute. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Clem. Kenny wouldn't hurt Clem. Although walkers will probably show up, that seems to be the motif of everything. We can't have a moment's peace, can we? It's a pretty badass truck. I like I like it. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. Well, we didn't talk about you. Really? Really, Kenny. <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, alright? Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go. Daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean some bitch, but he taught me respect. Girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. Hey, calm down. I like her. Just give her some time. Maybe you're right. Hell, I didn't know what to make of Lee at first. Of course, he helped me in mine more times than I can remember. Jane helped us back on the road. All right, give it a turn. Oh, I actually have to do it. That doesn't sound good. We got no power. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's got to be out there. Now, those rumors can't all be bunk. I mean, hell, there's got to be something out here other than snow and goddamn Euro trash. <laughs> we should go back south. Go and cross those mountains again? We'll run out of gas and die picking our way down. There's nothing back there for us. All right, turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! 
It's like the boat thing all over again. Kenny, are you okay? We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on that inside. Sounds slightly dangerous. I don't like leaving him with that girl. How are you gonna warm up the battery? Artsy shot there. All right, is there anything to look at here? What about this excavator? Do we jump start that thing with a friggin' backhoe thing? Better not be a zombie inside this excavator. Wish they'd finished this place. You and me both. And oh, oh, got something going on over here. Generators are very loud, though. Busted. How did the generator break? Looks like it's about to collapse. And I don't think there's much else going on out here, so I guess we'll head back inside. Again, the super slow walking. At least they put the doors on. Seems like kind of an unusual step to take before you've actually finished building the place, but what do I know? They like randomly got the fireplace done too, so it all works out. Hey. Mike and Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! <laughs> seen that look before. Son of a bitch. I've seen it too. A few times. Then you know what's about to happen. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy too. Once. Probably had a nice job and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day, he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I don't want to have to kill Kenny. I think it needs food or something. Seems like you've done that before. It's not rocket science. I feel like I'd drop it. Okay, I'm in charge of the baby holding. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. Wow. All that for one person? That's what I'm saying. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... Oh, that sounds promising. Just staring up at the sky, like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. Oh. He got it working. 